A new tool has been developed by scientists at the Friedman School of Nutrition Science and Policy at Tufts to help consumers, food companies, restaurants and cafeterias choose and produce healthier foods and help officials to make sound public nutrition policy. The findings of the study were published in the journal Nature Food. Food Compass is a new nutrient profiling system developed over three years that incorporates cutting-edge science on how different characteristics of foods positively or negatively impact health. Important novel features of the system include equally considering healthful versus harmful factors in food. Many existing systems focus on harmful factors. Incorporating cutting-edge science on nutrients, food ingredients, processing characteristics, cytochemicals and addictives. Existing systems focus largely on just a few nutrients. Objectively scoring all foods, beverages and even mixed dishes and meals using one consistent score. Existing systems subjectively group and score foods differently. The new Food Compass system was developed and then tested using a detailed national database of 8032 foods and beverages consumed by Americans. It scores 54 different characteristics across 9 domains representing different health relevant aspects of food, drinks and mixed meals, providing for one of the most comprehensive nutrient profiling systems in the world. The characteristics and domains were selected based on nutritional attributes linked to major chronic diseases such as obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular problems and cancer, as well as the risk of undernutrition especially for mothers, young children and the elderly. Food Compass was designed so that additional attributes and scoring could evolve based on future evidence in such areas of gastrointestinal health, immune function, brain health, bone health and physical and mental performance as well as considerations of sustainability. Potential uses of Food Compass include Encouraging the food industry to develop healthier foods and reformulate the ingredients in popular processed foods and snacks. Providing food purchasing incentives for employees through worksite wellness, healthcare and nutrition assistance programs. Supplying the science for local and national policies such as package labeling, taxation, warning labels and restrictions on marketing to children. Enabling restaurants and school, business and hospital cafeterias to present healthier food options informing agricultural trade policy, guiding institutional and individual investors on environmental, social and corporate governance investment decisions. Each food, beverage or mixed dish receives a final food compass score ranging from 1 that is the least healthy to 100 which is the most healthy. The researchers identified 70 or more as a reasonable score for foods and beverages that should be encouraged. Foods and beverages scoring 31 to 69 should be consumed in moderation. Anything scoring 30 or lower should be consumed minimally. Across major food categories, the average food compass score was 43.2. The lowest scoring category was snacks and sweet deserts with an average score of 16.4. The highest scoring categories were vegetables with an average score of 69.1. Fruits with an average score of 73.9 with nearly all raw fruits receiving a score of 100 and legumes, nuts and seeds with an average score of 78.6. Among beverages, the average score ranged from 27.6 for sugar sweetened sodas and energy drinks to 67 for 100% fruit or vegetable juices. Starchy vegetables scored an average of 43.2. The average score for beef was 24.9, for poultry 42.67 and for seafood 67. Food Compass is the first major nutrient profiling system to use consistent scoring across diverse food groups which is especially important for mixed dishes. For example, in the case of pizza, many other systems have separate scoring algorithms for the wheat, meat and cheese but not the finished product itself. Consistent scoring of diverse items can also be helpful in assessing and comparing combination of food and beverages that could be sold and consumed together, such as an entire shopping basket, a person's daily diet pattern, or a portfolio of foods sold by a particular company. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel.